Khair. Okay, we had a interesting question again from Sister Hiba. It's interesting because we spoke about Ramadan, what are the things to do in Ramadan, how to keep yourself busy uh, with the remembrance of Allah and really focus. And she says, in my family, unfortunately, after they break the fast, um, they sit around the box, here, this box that we have in the house, and they mm. watch these dramas. Her daughter saying, well, look, my dad's doing it, your, you know, our father's doing it, why can I not do it? Sheikh? You know, that reminds me on the way to the studio, while I was driving, I saw that uh, billboards and advertising for parties, singers and dancers, in the evening. So I realized, oh my God, during the month of Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fastens, and He locks up a shayateen, but what kind of satans? Satans of the jinn. While satans of humans are everywhere, and are also in competition with us. Month of Ramadan is a month of competition towards achieving much of good righteous deeds. But there are people who are planning even before Ramadan to ruin this month of Ramadan. Through producing, they increase their production of their filth to ruin the fasting of the month of Ramadan. Ruin it? Why? It's just a, a series or a program or a movie or a video. No, you, do, you don't know that it ruins your fasting? It does ruin your fasting. The Prophet ﷺ said, مَن لَمْ يَدَعْ قَوْلَ الزُّورِ Count with me. وَالْعَمَلَ بِهِ فَلَيْسَ لِلَّهِ حَاجَ فِي أَنْ يَدَعْ طُعَامَهُ وَشَرَبَهُ قَوْلَ الزُّور is the statement of falsehood. Saying falsehood or listening to falsehood. الْعَمَلَ بِهِ Acting according to falsehood. So either saying or listening or acting. Anything that's false. While you're fasting, and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Allah is not interested in their fasting. He's not interested in the fasting of such people who still maintain the sayings of the falsehood, listening to falsehood, and acting upon falsehood. This precious time of Ramadan, especially the nights, is the time for taraweeh, for praying qiyam, for praying night prayer. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, whosoever witnesses the prayer with his imam until he finishes his prayer until the imam is done with the prayer the night prayer the taraweeh qiyamul layl it will be written for him and recorded as qiyamul layl as he's been praying throughout the entire night so wasting this opportunity to sit before this idol this box as you call it watching what allah has prohibited to watch what Allah has ordered us to lower our gaze if we happen to look at it by accident. Is there any movie that doesn't have women? Is there any movie that doesn't have uh, women who are showing their aura, music, songs, telling lies? I told you before that there were a couple married who happened to be a couple in, in a play. In this play, which they used to play on every single day for several months, he would tell his wife in reality, but on the stage he would tell his wife, you're divorced, you're divorced, you're divorced. And they go home and they embrace one another and they think, that's acting, that's different. You are such great losers. Because the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa says, concerning divorce, whether you say it seriously or even joking, it falls effective. So now he divorced his wife 10,000 times, not just two times. And he's still embracing her, still having kids from her, still living with her, thinking that that was acting. This is falsehood. The amount of lies which is presented in one movie, in one play, is enough to ruin the fasting of a whole day. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah An-Nur, قُلْ لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ يَغُضُّوا مِنْ أَبُصَارِهِمْ وَيَحْفَظُوا فُرُوجَهُمْ command the believing men to lower their gazes and to protect their chastity. Lowering the gaze is the first step of being modest and chast, man or a woman. And also, So we must lower our gaze from looking at what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited. Don't tell me that nowadays they make religious series where a woman appears uh, where in hijab even in some religious programs where the host is wearing hijab but wearing a full makeup is it lawful for you to look at her no it is not that's why I feel also sorry when I see some scholars some seekers of knowledge some ulama 
sitting before a woman who's presenting them or hosting them in a program, she's plucking her eyebrows, she's wearing a full makeup, and he's talking about deen. He's talking about religion. What kind of religion? Which religion are you addressing in this episode, in this program? The deen is a whole and is not to be divided. Religious commitment has its own sweetness. When you realize that you're doing this for the sake of Allah, then you enjoy spending every minute obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and abstaining from anything that could gain Allah's wrath or anger. Ramadan is a beautiful opportunity to spend the day in fasting and reciting the Quran and in the evening praying taraweeh. Then you can take a nap, you rest for some time because we still work during Ramadan. Ramadan is not a break from work. Like in some areas, in some countries, whenever Ramadan approaches, this is the time of sleep. When they pray taraweeh and they eat much, and then they watch a lot of series and movies throughout the entire night, then they sleep after suhoor, maybe even before praying fajr. Until when? Until noon. And what about work? This is Ramadan. How can you work during Ramadan? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not ordain that at all. Nor is he ever happy with that. Ramadan is a month of victories. The opening of Mecca, the conquest of Mecca, which is Ramadan. Uh, the great defeat of uh, uh, Israel recently in this modern age was during the month of Ramadan. Uh, so many battles that Muslims fought against the disbelievers was the, during the month uh, of Ramadan. So you should not think that the month of Ramadan is a month of play and having fun and watching belly dancers in the evening because we've been fasting all day long. La, I swear by Allah in whose hand is my soul. These activities ruin your fasting. Those who do not pray and they're fasting, let them not fast. Because Allah does not accept the fasting of those who do not pray. They're not required to fast. Because they're not considered as Muslims. So Islam is a beautiful gift. You take it all and you start practicing as much as you can of it. We said in the beginning from Ramadan brothers and sisters, this is a wonderful opportunity for those who were trained to do bad habits, adopted bad habits to quit, to repent. And I give an example of smoking. Now you have to stop eating and drinking what's lawful for 15, 16 or 20 hours in some areas, more or less, it depends. So can't you extend this to abstain from what Allah has prohibited? Please do that and make this Ramadan your best Ramadan by making it as a turning point in your life. And realize that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, إِنَّ السَّمْعَ وَالْبَصَرَ وَالْفُؤَادَ كُلُّ أُولَٰئِكَ كَانَ عَنْهُ مَسْئُولًا Indeed, you're hearing what you paid attention to, to listen attentively, willingly, whether backbiting, slander, falsehood, love stories, whatever. You listen to it willingly. It was your choice. As-sam'a wal-basara, and what you looked at willingly. You wasted a precious time watching what Allah has prohibited. Wal-fu'ad, and your heart and mind, all of that will be questioned on the day of judgment. So please, protect your senses which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gifted you with, especially during this month of Ramadan, and make it the right beginning for a great turning point. Jazak.